If 3D printed homes are not on your mind, they should be because 3D printing is the future of home construction. Soon we'll go from traditional houses built just like this to this, a 3D printed home and its accessory dwelling unit or ADU whose walls were built in just eight days. 3D printing is set to just transform how houses are built. Uh, this technology offers speed. It offers affordability as well as waste reduction. And at a time when the U.S. is facing a housing shortage by more than 3 million homes, and affordable housing is hard, simply hard to find. The average house now costs around $374,000 in the U.S., up 22% in just the past two years. A 3D printing tech forward innovation are shaping up to be the housing affordability and availability crisis solution. But how can you buy one? Who's building them? Where are they being built? Well, in this video, I'll highlight three 3D printing home construction companies breaking barriers and ground using this new technology. But first, hi, I'm Amber, Director of Investment Research here at Bull Profits publishing and the home of Main Street Stock Investors. You're watching the Palm and Pilly YouTube channel. Now, for those who may not know this about me, who've been watching this channel for a while, I've been working in the stock and financial markets for many, many years now. I won't give you exact years, it's too many. But as an economics and finance major in graduate school and in undergrad school, this is what I do. I love this. So in addition to stock investing, I love all things real estate. I actually purchased my first home at 23, which I still own to this day, and I've added to my housing portfolio since then. And it's in my blood. Uh, my great grandma actually pictured here wearing her favorite hat, along with my great grandpa, who's not pictured, were consequential real estate investors and over their lifetime purchased seven multifamily income properties. So when I hear about new technology like 3D printed homes and how it's just really set to transform the real estate market, I have to take notice. We all should just try and take notice. So in no particular order, the first 3D printing home company to watch is Apiscore. Apiscore. Now, Apiscore is headquartered in Melbourne, Florida, and it's on a mission to build affordable housing for the 21st century. The company develops advanced technologies and materials for construction 3D printing. Now, Apiscore holds the Guinness Book of World Records for the world's largest 3D printed building on Earth, which is in Dubai, I believe. So what's very interesting about Apiscore is that they've opened the world's first showroom for 3D printed homes. So this is something we can all visit. Uh, visitors can tour the showroom and see and touch actual 3D printed wall samples of various finishes, including paint, stucco, and other textures. And this is right at their headquarters in Brevard County, Florida. Plus, visitors can meet Frank. <laughs> Hello, Frank, uh, their 3D printing robot. So, Apiscore sees 3D printing homes as scalable and current with the capability of circumventing those supply chain issues, uh, skilled labor shortages. And the company states that they're aiming to, quote, fully automate the home building process with a view to reducing total construction times from, get this, three months to only five days, five days. So homes start at 300,000 and can be customized to your liking. Uh, right now, about $7,000 will reserve an Apiscore 3D printed home before their operations kick off start in 2023. So Apiscore plans to build homes uh, here in Florida and across the US. And from an investing standpoint, Apiscore is really set to become the first 3D printed home technology firm to offer shares to the public. Hmm, something to watch, wouldn't you say? So the second 3D printing home construction company to highlight is Alquist 3D. Now Alquist, based in Iowa, builds affordable 3D printed homes that aim to be sustainable and innovative. 
Alquist's mission is to help lift economically distressed and underserved communities by lowering the cost of building single family, multifamily, mixed use, and senior living homes. Alquist 3D has partnered with Habitat for Humanity Peninsula and a Greater uh, Williamsburg in Virginia to create the first 3D printed home to be owner occupied in the U.S. The company's founder and CEO, Zach Mannheimer, says that, quote, 3D printing, well, it cuts costs by up to 15% by scaling back labor, materials, and time. The goal, the goal is to revolutionize affordable housing. The company aims to build 200 3D printed homes over the next three years, primarily in the Southwest Virginia area, with prices starting at $175,000. Now, the third company to highlight is Icon, and Icon is headquartered in Austin, Texas, and they actually develop advanced construction tech that advances humanity by using 3D printing robotics, software, as well as advanced materials. Their mission is to, quote, reimagine the approach of home building and construction to make affordable, dignified housing, yes, available to everyone throughout the world, end quote and reimagining they are doing uh, using their large scale construction 3D printer called Vulcan. Well, this printer is 1.5 times larger, two times faster and capable of printing homes and structures up to 3,000 square feet. A uh, so far icon is partnering with Lennar. Yes, Lennar Home Building to build the largest neighborhood of 3D printed homes in the Austin, Texas area starting this year. Uh, the neighborhood will feature 100 homes. Also, the Texas Military Department has partnered with ICON to design and 3D print barracks, barracks at Camp Swift, which will be the largest 3D printed structure in North America. Wow. So the 3,800 square foot building will house up to 72 soldiers or airmen. Now the future of 3D printing homes looks bright. Yes, very bright. Qualities like speed, affordability, and sustainability is charting the course. But as with any new technology, there are barriers, barriers to overcome, such as perfecting scalability to reduce costs and the establishment of laws and regulations to help structure this ever-growing market going forward uh, with the U.S. at hand and government in, in, in play. So this market is actually projected to grow in the U.S. alone at a compound annual growth rate of 99% starting this year through 2030. And based on these groundbreaking companies like Apiscore, Alquist 3D, and Icon, well, they are really trailblazing away and it appears to me that this is the sky is the limit for them. Truly something to watch going forward. And if you want to buy a home, think about them as your person to use, this company to use to uh, buy your home. So. With that, uh, we're actually very steeped in 3D printing here at Bold Profits. Uh, Paul's flagship newsletter, Profits Unlimited, has been recommending 3D companies for many years now. And he has actually recommended an assortment of 3D printing stocks to actually play this market. So to learn more about his take on 3D printing, the market in general, and his get his stock recommendations, well, please click the icon, the strong hand icon right here over my shoulder. And remember that you can follow Paul and me on Twitter at Mampilly Guru and at A Lancaster Guru for the latest news and trends and all things of what we call here America 2.0 stock investing, just looking forward, looking toward the future. And a heads up, please be sure to read our newest analysts, Tony Sagoda's Bull Profits Daily article publishing this Wednesday, April 21st on the 3D printing market, as well as real estate market, which is really his genre, what he loves. So please visit bullprofitsdaily.com to read it. And of course, you, while there, sign up for our daily free e-letter. So that concludes this week's A Market Talk Monday. Everyone have a great, wonderful, healthy week ahead. And until next time, take care. <laughs>